Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we start, it is the end of the night. My makeup is half worn off. I've had my makeup on for the last like 11 hours and I meant to film before I left for work today. I was diddle daddling around, lost track of time, had to skedaddle to work, didn't film before work and I just really needed to get this video filmed because I'm behind on palette week. We still have three videos left for palette week. Yesterday I would have interrupted palette week for my Sephora VIB sale recommendations and so I really had to film tonight and I was too lazy to redo my makeup. And then like my lip liner got like out of control. I had some pizza. It's not, we're now like a minute in and I'm rambling about, please forgive me that my makeup is <laughs> less than fresh and my hair is just like up in a ponytail. I'm literally about to go take a bath after this. Okay, okay. Today's video is going to be my Pandas eyeshadows update for the month of April. I do have two bonus pans to share, but no pans to share on these shadows that I was currently working on within this project. If you are new to the Pandas eyeshadows project, I personally would be surprised, but the creator of this project was Alexi, who will be linked down below, and there are so many other creators who do this project. It's one of my favorite panning series to binge watch. I love watching other people hit eyeshadow, hit pan on eyeshadows um, and just kind of like see how quickly other people can pan eyeshadow. It's been like pretty slow going for me, but that's okay. So I have two bonus pans to share and then my progress. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. First, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content, palette themed content, or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, everyone runs their pan those eyeshadows a little bit differently. So the way that I'm running mine is I have five eyeshadow palettes that I randomly generate the shade from and then I also choose a sixth palette um, out of the palettes that I'm working on in my uh, palettes on their last hoorah series I choose a palette from that series um, and then I randomly generate a shade from that palette to work on if you're wondering what my palettes on their last two raws it's sort of like a chopping block style of series I just updated my palettes on their last two raw series a couple of days ago I'll have that link below in case you're like wanting some context there in order to roll a palette out I either have to hit pan on the eyeshadow use it 15 times or it has to have been in the project for three months i also allowed myself three vetoes throughout the course of the year which i've already used one of my vetoes that being said i did my makeup 17 times throughout the month of march so that kind of gives you an idea of how many times i did my makeup and let's get into my bonus pans so my bonus pans i have two like i said the first one comes from my huda beauty smoky obsessions palette i'm so excited to finally have an actual eyeshadow pan in this palette i've dropped this palette a couple of times many times i've dropped this palette while filming videos it's happened on multiple occasions so i had two broken shades that's what those two are but i do have pan on the matte shade up there which i'm very very excited about this is one of my favorite palettes in my collection i just talked about this in my video about my top 12 favorite palettes of literal all time so check that video out if you haven't seen it but i do have a nice size pan in this palette now again i'm very excited about that and that actually is a palette that is also going on my palettes on their last two raw and then I also have a new pan in my Nabla Secret Palette. This is a palette I was working on in January. This one's also going in my palettes on their last two raw series. So very excited to be adding some pans to the palettes that I'm working on in that series. But I have pan on the shade Mia Culpa right here. I hope that you'll be able to see. This I was using as a brow um, powder shade and I hit pan on it and then I've kind of put it away since then. But very excited to have two new pans to add to my collection. All right, now let's jump into the palettes that I was actively working on throughout this project we can start with the palette that for sure will be rolling out because this is the sixth shade the one from my palettes on their last hurrah so i rotate that palette out every single month it was my natasha denona lila palette this month and i was working on this shade right here i'll be honest i kept forgetting about this palette um which is kind of a bummer but i did only end up reaching for this palette three times i will obviously post pictures of what it looked like when i rolled it in versus now there is, I mean, this palette does look loved, especially this bottom row. I'm very excited that there's like good dips going in these four shades, but I didn't reach for this one as much as I would have liked to. Now, this is obviously a palette that I'm still trying to keep top of mind as it is in my palettes on their last two raw, but it's not one that I'll be actively working on in my pan those eyeshadow series. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I have so many like palette videos and like things that <laughs> I'm saying palette so many times. Um, then let's start with the palettes that I have been working on since the introduction. So up first, I have my ColourPop Pisces in the Sky palette, and I'm working on this matte shade right here. 
as you can tell there's like a little bit of a dip it going in this one i am gonna roll this one out just because i'm currently so this had eight uses um at the beginning of march and i used it an additional eight times throughout the month of march and i just feel like i'm not seeing that much progress on this i feel like this is going to take me forever to hit pan on and it's a shade that's like very just like not a super fun shade i also feel like this is a palette i could see myself just naturally reaching for even if it wasn't in this project just because now i really like using this to kind of help blend everything together so i figured i'd roll this out knowing i will likely still reach for it but then roll something fresh in in its place and then i also have been working on my alter ego canyon palette since the introduction and specifically i've been working on the shade desert sun i had reached for this five total times as of the beginning of march and i reached for it an additional five times throughout the month of march putting me at a total of 10 uses which i am really excited about because i did give myself a goal of reaching for this a minimum of five times in march and i did hit that goal i was trying to decide if i wanted to roll this one out as well however i feel like this is a shade i could see myself reaching for quite a bit Maybe not necessarily in April, but as we reach like the summertime and I already have a sh pan in the shade Expanse and the the um, pans aren't like too deep. Like they're not super shallow, but they're also not too deep. So I feel like with a little bit more effort, I could hit pan on that shade. So I'm going to keep working on this one. So I will swatch this one since we are keeping this one in the project there that one is swatched right there i forgot there's a third one i've been working on since the introduction and it comes from my pat mcgrath uh rose decadence palette so this one i had reached for a total of four times at the beginning of march i only reached for this one time which i don't necessarily believe because i feel like i reached for this at least three times there is a good disturbance going in this i also have a pan here and this one took a great amount of effort to hit pan on it and now i'm like trying to decide whether or not i want to this could be a while Ooh, this has been in for three months so i could roll this out which i feel like i might do yes I wasn't thinking I was going to roll this out, but I think I actually might just to, just cause I know I've only reached for this five times, which is actually kind of shocking to me. However, I do want to focus on my Lila palette still because it is in my palettes on their last two raw. And I feel like I could reach for this shade up here, which is pretty similar to the Rose Decadence. The Rose Decadence, uh, I'm going to roll this one out. I am going to do it. I'm going to roll that one out. We're going to keep in the Canyon palette. Um, and then I have two more palettes that will obviously still stay in because they haven't been in for the three months. So up first, I have the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions palette, which I rolled in last update. And I'm working on this center shade right here. This shade was kind of similar to the one from the Pisces in the Sky. But this one obviously just is a little bit more this one is almost a little bit more nude in tone and this one also works really well just to kind of blend everything together so i feel like i could with just a little bit of effort hit pan on this shade specifically this month i do have another pan in this palette and the pans in the huda beauty obsessions palettes are rather shallow as well so i do feel like i could easily hit pan on this and i would be really excited about this this is another one i anticipate i'll use a lot this summer but i do feel confident that i could have pan in that shade specifically next update i forgot to mention i reached for this six total times in the month of march the lawless the glam one i also rolled in last update and i only reached for this one one time in the month of march i am working on this shade right here which is a really beautiful mauve pink shade there that one is swatched right there so we have three mattes currently that we're currently working on um and as you can tell like i feel like these two shades would actually go together really nicely as well you guys, I feel like my mind is everywhere just because it's like the end of the day. I feel like I'm not even making sense and I'm kind of nervous already to go edit this video. <laughs> um, especially because I know I'm going to be annoyed at myself at the state of my makeup. But anyway, regardless, these are the three shadows that we're still working on. Again, I only reached for this one time. I kind of just forgot about this one. And I had already reached for this 
a decent amount throughout January and February. So I think that's part of it. Um, but hoping to get some more use out of this this next month as well. So the three palettes that are staying in are the Alter Ego Canyon palette, the Huda Coral Obsessions, and the Lawless the Glam one. We are going to roll in two new random shades and then um, I will choose a random shade from a different palette of my palettes on my last two raw. I don't currently have my phone on me so I'm going to randomly generate two numbers back here on my computer. <laughs> Um, and I did just update my spreadsheet that has every single eyeshadow pan in my entire collection listed out. So I am going to randomly generate two numbers between 1 and 1,766. So we get number, it's going to be too hard to like zoom in on the computer, but we get number 1,233 and 488. Okay, so this is really interesting. One of the numbers that I randomly generated, 1,233, comes from my Tarte Love Trust in Fairy Dust palette which is a palette that is currently going on my palettes on their last two raw. So I think I'm just going to randomly generate then a third number since I guess I just won't personally pick the palettes on their last two raw palette. Is this making any sense? But since it was just rolled in, oh, I just had like a cough attack. Um, shade number 488 comes from my Kat Von D Ultra Vi no, Kat Von D Alchemist palette in the shade Ultraviolet. And I'm actually so close to hitting pan on all of the shades in that palette. So I'm super excited about that because I feel like that could be an easy pan hit. But I am going to really quick just randomly generate a third number. Okay, I get number 355. Can you guys see like my lights and stuff back here? It like generally feels like you're just hanging out with me in my home, doesn't it? Okay, this one might be a black shade, which I don't want to work on a black. It comes from the Nabla Analog palette and it's the six shade. So I'm really quick gonna check on that. Okay, it's not a black shade, so we're good to go. Okay, so up first, the first one we rolled in comes from my Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust. This is a palette I'm currently working on in palettes on their last two and I got the shade uh, Magical, which is, ooh, or Magic. It's this shade right here. I'm gonna have a lot of mauve tones here, but I'm excited because this one already has like a pretty good dip going on it. It's one of the shades I really wanted to hit pan on this year. And it's a shade I really like. Although I just, I don't know that I was like excited about a bunch of like mauve tone looks, but dang, that's a pretty shade. So there's that shade right there. It's gonna go super well with these. Like this is like such a good, just three shadows and done look. Yes, okay. And then we have from my Kat Von D Alchemist palette. This palette's so old, but I love it for inner corner highlighting. Um, I have the shade ultraviolet, which is right here. As you can tell, I have a really good dip going on it. I literally use this small brush for this palette and just go in my, I only use it for inner corner highlighting. So I feel like I'm so close to hitting pan on this shade. I'm going to go over that twice. I definitely feel like this one could be a rollout next update there. That one is swatched right there. I feel like this would be a really fun inner corner highlight with a look with these shades. So I'm actually super excited so far. And honestly, I even feel like I could use the shade from the Alter Ego Canyon palette to really like warm up. Like I feel like this all goes together so well. And then we have my Nabla Cutie palette. This is the analog palette. And I rolled in the shade 35 mm, which is this shade right here. And it looks like I tried to use it as an inner corner highlight, but I feel like this could be kind of like a little bit too dark for an inner corner highlight. I don't know how, how well you'll be able to see that, but it's just like a really nice golden shade. I'm going to go over that one more time as well. Yeah, that's really pretty. Can you see? I'm excited that I got some um, not matte shades, some foiled shades or some shimmer shades. So I do feel like this one will take like i'll be curious to see how deep the pans are on this one i feel like this will take some time to hit pan on um, but i'm excited to work on that i feel like this could be a really beautiful shade for like really bronzy summery looks as well from the tart love trust and fairy dust palette i truly do think i could potentially have a pan in this next update same with the cat Von D alchemist palette same with the huda beauty coral obsessions palette i really really feel like I could have a pan in this next update. So hoping for that. So that could potentially be three pans. And then I'm hoping maybe, probably not the Canyon palette just yet, but I should have some better progress on that. Like I already have a decent dip started. And then the Lawless the Glam one, I imagine will take some time, but that is where we are at. That is my update for my Pan Loves eyeshadows for the month of April. Are you guys doing this project? How is it going? How many eyeshadow pans have you hit so far? 
in 2022. I believe I'm at, and I'll have it listed down below as well as my new pan percentage. Um, I believe I'm at eight eyeshadow pans for total so far this year, which I'm really excited about. I would like to, of course, hit at least 20 two pans in 2022 but that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed thank you so much for sticking around to watch and for supporting me even when i have no makeup on and i'm a hot mess i appreciate it so much i love you guys and i will catch you in my next video bye